Hey Internet, this is Adam Meckley. Um, I'm helping out as a consultant on Marion, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you all a piece of technology that I developed to help us build the character. So if you've ever made a character with polygonal hair for a game, you know that it's an incredibly tedious process. It can take an incredibly long time to make all these individual curves, and then you need to loft a polygon surface on each of these one at a time. So if I were going to do this, let's say I make a plane with a single subdivision. And then I try to get it lined up to one of these curves. You can already tell this is a really slow and painful process. So once I've got this more or less where I think I want it, I can select the edge and the curve and then go in here and mess with all this stuff like the number of divisions I want twisting up to a certain amount um, but you know this takes kind of a long time to do one at a time and then as you can see the UVs that are generated here aren't particularly usable um, everything's just kind of in one spot it doesn't really make any sense if I have a hair texture that's painted vertically. I need it to really line up better. So what I made here is a plugin for generating hair meshes from curves. So I can just grab a bunch of these at once, for example, and then I have a bunch of different input parameters here, but uh, what's particularly helpful is that I can set my number of divisions on a per unit basis so that all these face sizes are more or less the same. I'm not specifying like you know 10 divisions for this hair 20 divisions for this hair whatever I just set this as a rate and then this automatically computes everything and then I can also automatically normalize the UVs against the uh, longest length of hair that's created or the shortest one and so forth so if I create some you can kinda see what this is gonna do so it automatically builds all these different hair ribbons here And if I show texture borders here you can see that uh, not all these are the same length, and that's because the ones here that have fewer subdivisions are actually taking up less UV space because they're normalized against the longest piece of hair, kind of right here in the middle of her head. Uh, I can also change the UV pinning here to be on the top. And so now, if I select the UVs, you can maybe see in amongst all these other colors all the ones I have selected are up here at the base of the head whereas they don't all go down to the bottom here maybe if I convert those to vertices you can see I didn't grab these ones because those are all shorter locks of hair so what else is cool about this is I can change uh, the divisions here after the fact and my UVs are preserved and then uh, I can also change the twist angle at the base of the hair to kind of get it to line up better with her headband. The amount of twisting that happens down the length of the hair um, tapering just like your standard loft and all that. So this is a uh, tool that we're going to be using to build Marion's hair and hopefully speed that process up. So I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this. At some point in the future I'll Put these plugins up for a free download on my website, adammeckley.com. So, hope you guys are looking forward to the game.